this way. I'm about to head to Houston. I'm about to head to Houston. I'm about to head to Houston. I'm about to head out. Alright, come on y'all. <laughs> we in the airport, y'all. I've just had a hell of a morning. Too much going on, but I'm about to go in Starbucks and get me something to drink. And then when I get my Starbucks and I get to my gate, I'm going to tell y'all what happened because it's just too much for my soul, for my blood, for my pressure. Okay? So, but welcome back to my channel. Okay, I'll see y'all in a minute. Hold on. The morning just started and it's already been a long morning. So, I don't know what where in my mind we're at the right point where i decided that i'm going to work a double work both of my jobs at that and then come and hop on a flight early in the morning the next day mind you i'm running over 30 hours of sleep and a big ass coffee i was playing myself i really was but i'm sitting at the gate i was on standby for a flight going to chicago and then going to houston but that flight was full so i have to wait for a flight at four which got delayed until like five close to the six but like I was saying, yesterday I worked both of my jobs and I was tired. Like I got home at like 1 a.m. because it was a Janet Jackson concert. So we were there late. I got home and I didn't pack nothing. Like I didn't have anything packed. I wanted to go back through my outfits before I left because every time I leave, I have to go back through them to make sure it's actually something that I want. And also I was piecing more clothes together. Even though it's a two day trip, I pack like it's a five day because this is just my thing, this is just my thing. I'm talking, don't, 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 don't come for me, okay? Then I finally packed. I didn't get done until 5 a.m.? Yeah, because I went back to sleep at 5. I didn't go back to sleep. I went to sleep for the first time at 5. And then I woke back up at 5.45, which was too late. I should have just never went to sleep and just left because I would have caught my flight on time. Because honestly, if I would have caught my early morning flight, I probably would have went to the concert tonight. But being that I was just going to get there at 6. And mind you, I have a VIP ticket. So I need to be there by 6.35 to get early entry and to pick up my stuff that comes with your VIP ticket. I'm just not going to have enough time to do all of that. So I was just like, I don't want to push it that close. So I went on Twitter and I was like, hey, who wants this VIP ticket? Because, you know, a lot of times it's hard to come by VIP tickets for a concert, especially the day of. So I was like, I know I can sell this shit today. But I just typed in Key Glock in Houston and I was seeing people who was looking for tickets. And I just started DMing people. And this one girl got back to me. I think I spent like 125 on it and I got 80 back, which is not bad. I'm losing out on like $40, but I don't care because something is better than nothing. So I'm grateful. But yeah, I'm just sitting here now. I got a couple of hours. I'm just happy that I was able to sell it and just happy that I'll just be in Houston, just enjoying my time and don't have to rush and do stuff because I can see Key Glock at any time. He's going to go back on tour. Like I know that for a fact. So I'll just go when I'm a little bit more prepared and probably when I have a little bit more time because originally I was supposed to go out of town yesterday, but I had to work because it was a blackout day on my job, so I couldn't take it off. So I was just like, okay, I'll fly out early in the morning on this day, but it just didn't work out. But that's why I travel solo because I like to work on my own time and I don't like people waiting on me or, you know, people getting upset about what I do and how I do it. It's just like, it's easier if I'm just traveling alone because I just don't have to put up with other people's attitudes, other people's comments. I can just do my own thing. I'm gonna see y'all when I get in Houston. <laughs> Cause I got five more fucking hours here. <laughs> Maybe six, we'll see. Well, I went and got pizza because I was hungry. And my flight got delayed again. I've just been in here all fucking day. I'm just really over it. Like, I'm so over it. It's going to be 8 o'clock by the time I get to Houston. That's the whole damn day. I was supposed to be in Houston by 1, but shit, I can't blame nobody but myself. But that doesn't mean I'm still not annoyed because this flight was supposed to leave at like 4 or something. It's 3 something now. It was delayed till 6. It's just... It is 6 o'clock and I'm just now getting on my flight. Y'all, I've been here for 12 hours. Well, like 11 hours. Since I got here at 7 a.m. But I got here when the sun was coming up and I'm leaving when the sun is about to go down. Like, Child, I'll never get. I'm going to make sure the next time I get here super up. From Flight Dick the Shirt, Captain Robert Cortez speaking. On behalf of myself and my first officer, we'd like to welcome you for United Express Flight 6314 to Houston, Texas. Focus on me, baby. Can you focus on me? Hands in the soap, how to pause it? 
Or my Uber, whichever one, so I can get to my hotel. I waited on my Uber, girl. My Uber was $32 to get to my hotel downtown. That's okay. I spent the money because I'm ready to go check in and wash up and stuff, and then probably go out and get me a drink. I'm about to take me a shower and then I'm about to head out and see if I can find me something to eat because I'm very hungry. It's late. It's about to be 10 o'clock. So, but it's Saturday. So most things are like close around 2, 3 a.m. So everything should work out. I'm excited. I'll see y'all when I'm about to head out. Okay. I got so much space in my room. Like, not only this shit. I got a whole kitchen over there. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm walking to Rustic right now because it's only like a 13, maybe 15 minute walk from my hotel. So I was like, I can bust that down real quick. And then it gives me time to sightsee. So I like, I love sightseeing. And it looks so beautiful and it's so nice out. I brought my hoodie with me just in case it was cold, but it actually feels really good. So I don't even need my hoodie. Let's see my fit. They're like pretty. Y'all can't see me. I got two drinks in me. <laughs> oh, that dinner was straight. Uh, I'll say I give it like a seven. I didn't like the devil eggs or the mac and cheese. So they took that off the bill, but the drinks were really good. I can honestly say the drinks was really great. The bartenders who were working were good. I'm heading back to the hotel so I can go in and get me some sleep and get prepared for tomorrow. Cause tomorrow's my full day in the city and that's when I'm gonna be like running around and doing stuff. So, gotta get my rest, you know? But I'll see you guys tomorrow. Just woke up. Well, I've been in on my sleep all morning. I think I'm about to get up, get up for real. Bitch, is it raining? I don't got time for that. But yeah, I'm about to get up. My hotel does complimentary breakfast, so I'm about to go down and go get breakfast. I think it ends at 10 30. I checked earlier. Yeah, it's at 10 30. It's like 9 40. So I'm about to go down before they end it. So come along, come along. Ooh. Oh, I did not hit that note. <laughs> come along with me. <laughs> just let me warm up first just let me warm up <laughs> i got my food i got belgian waffle i put brown sugar on top of it i got eggs bacon and potatoes what's up i got orange juice about to eat this and then i'm about to go upstairs and get ready because i got a few places that i want to go y'all know i love museums y'all know i'm gonna go to a museum especially when i'm on my solo trips like that's just part of who i am Girl, I uh, sold my ticket to. She sent me a video and she was just like, thank you so much. I was so close. I'm just happy that the ticket didn't go to waste. Also that somebody else got to enjoy the concert. She enjoyed the show, so I'm happy. She sent me a video. She was like, girl, I was so close. I was like, yeah, girl, you got a VIP ticket. I know y'all ass was close. She was, she was right at, at the stage. I'm kind of sad that it wasn't me though, but it's okay. It didn't go to waste and I got some money back. So, you know, it all worked out and everything happens for a reason. I'm doing my makeup, y'all. Look at my mirror. It's so messed up. Like, 
This is ridiculous. It's real bad. <laughs> real, real bad. I've already started my makeup. I don't even know what type of look I want to do today. I'm wearing green. As always, it's because I'm in my green phase. I'm doing something light because I really don't want to wear a lot, a lot of makeup today. I kind of just want to stay very neutral with it. My eyebrows, they look okay. I can deal with them. I got this butterfly garden that I want to go to today. And also this other museum that looks very fun. They got all these like interactive things to do with it. I think it's like a fine arts museum, but I'm so excited to go to it. So that's what I'm going to do today. We're just going to make the most of today. And, you know, make the most of my time here in Houston. Yeah, I'm all dressed up, ready to go. Look at this look combo. Isn't it so cute? The fit is fitting. Like, yes. Like, I look so fucking bomb. I look good. I'm about to head out. Come along with me. I'm about to go. I'm about to go. I'm about to go. Anyway, come on, y'all. <laughs> Okay, I got my shades, and it just brought the look together. But honestly, I look like I'm out of somebody's 90s Pinterest lookbook. Like, I really look like that. Like, I look so damn cute. But while I'm walking, and I'm feeling fucking raindrops, Houston, do not play with me today. Okay, so I was about to walk to CVS to get me some mascara, but the way my eyes, like, the way that they keep fucking watering up I think I'm just gonna call it quits because like I just don't even want to do that with my makeup today like having sensitive eyes just kills me so bad because like it's always fucking something so I'm just about to go to this museum because <laughs> I, I don't have time I don't have time, I don't have time. I don't have time. personally being in Houston now everything is like really so far spread out like you really need a car I would recommend getting a car if you were coming to Houston because everything is just spread out I mean you have public transportation and Ubers and Lyfts and everything like that. But the amount of money that you'll spend on Ubers and Lyfts is like the equivalent to renting a car for the weekend. Like you may as well rent a car for the weekend because, yeah, it's just kind of hard getting around. Everything is just really spaced out, but it's okay. Only been a few hours, but it feel like days. Only been days, but it feel like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Can't even front of you. I'm a big Vanessa because I told him that I was studying at my old college that I used to go to, and he just gave me the student um discount. And on the train, I just hopped on. I didn't even pay for it. I'm just like, what? What y'all got going on in Houston? But I mean, I ain't complaining. I ain't complaining. But I'm going to the special um exhibit, the Pippalotti one. It's like a pixel forest. So I'm gonna do that one, and then I'm gonna explore the rest of the museum. Yeah, this museum is just like so big. I think there's like, okay, I see Pippalotti, but I think it's like three buildings in one like i think it's like three different museums but it's so nice and big. i love museums so much i This museum like has so many colors, like it's so pretty. <laughs> but she don't love me, she's too scary. My hope 
was fun like Jackie Brown. Ooh, hey, you, I wanna know what she too down. Will you be my leading lady? I wanna contract that no baby. In the meantime, in the meantime, I'll be the one. Everybody beats like Odell. Killers don't tell Shadow my mark of the New York to show Now my bitch is Tisha Tisha now Will you be my leading lady? I wanna go to the girl no maybe baby In the meantime It's the meantime Okay, so I just have to find arts museum and I'm going to the Butterfly Center now because I just love butterflies and I gotta go see them. And somebody just complimented me. On, well, I got a couple of compliments on my outfit, but somebody just now complimented me. And I was like, thank you so much. But like, for real though, like I got that shit on. It's just in me. Like, I'm for real, for real. Like, I just look so cute. Like, I love the colors. I added this patch on actually today because I was smoking and I got a hole in it. So I had to add the patch on, but it's like a fuck you sign and I love it. Like, it's just so me. <laughs> Yeah, I don't even know where I'm at right now. I'm going to the butterfly garden. They got the waterfall in the back. Look at the waterfall. Look at the waterfall. Look at the Y'all look, there's a Zoltar, and I've always seen these in movies, and I'm about to use it. I went and got changed so I could use it, so I could see my fortune. Like, duh, I gotta use it. Like, it's probably gonna be my only chance in a long time. <laughs> Come on, Zoltar, what are you gonna tell me? Zoltar, the great gypsy, at your service. Listen carefully. It is better to keep your mouth shut and be thought a fool than to open it and remove all doubt. And also, my friend, it is wise to be taking good advice when you hear it, no? Return to Zoltar, and I will give you more words of wisdom. Oh, there's my fortune. Let me get it. <laughs> I'm not going to tell y'all what it says because I feel like it's personal, but... Why Zoltar just read me, read me down, like, <laughs> read me down. It's literally so mean. I'll tell y'all a little part of it. It said that I need to find somebody with red hair. What my red hair person is? What you gonna bring into my life? <laughs> I'm sitting right here waiting until the butterfly exhibit starts. Cause it doesn't start till 4.14, which I got like maybe three minutes left. But I'm also sitting here charging my phone cause it's going dead. Can't have that when I'm about to go into the butterfly exhibit, but you know, I keep that thing on me. I think this is about to start. I don't even know where this place is at. I just sat down so I can charge my phone, but I need to go find out where it's at. But I didn't know that like this, the the center, I didn't know like it was several things in here. Like this, it's the natural science center. So they have the museum, they have the Workham giant screen theater. I didn't know it was this big and had this, this much stuff in it, but you come and you learn. So, you know. I'm excited. I love learning. Come with me to the butterfly center. <laughs> going past in my face and stuff. I just don't want to let on my head, on my shoulders or something. Like, 
This one right here in the corner. There's so many butterflies, like. So cute. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> I Alright, we about to go, y'all. <laughs> you know, I'm just chilling with my dog. I'm gonna go with Calipilla. When you getting big, ooh. Yeah. Not in a bad way, not in a bad way, though. Not in a bad way. Y'all, I don't know what it is, but I'm about to go with it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I've been kind of finessing people all day with the museums. Because in there, they give a lower price when you're a student so i was like i don't have my school id but i still have this at the house but i'm not in school i haven't been to school in like four years she's like well if you have like something from your school i show her my admissions letter when i got it and she gave me the uh discount i was like come bro like i'm just i'm doing this out you y'all it's a waterfall well is this technically a waterfall no this is not a waterfall but i don't know what it's called Look, and it flow all the way down. It flow all the way down to right here. I love that. I made it to the top. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. But I'm about to go back down because it's starting to get a little crowded up here. <laughs> my ring's so disrespectful. Okay, so right now I'm walking to Post Houston. I don't really know exactly what it is, but I saw it on TikTok and it has like a bunch of food places and it looks really pretty inside. So I'm just gonna go because I haven't ate since breakfast. So I really need to eat something like quickly, immediately. too many options i was like i don't know what to choose i don't want to choose but i have been in the mood for pasta so i saw this place right here and they make pasta from scratch so i was like okay i'm gonna get this so i got chicken parmesan and i got this truffle what's it called white truffle bread oh my god it looks so good let me show y'all let me show y'all it's good they did that you ate that one up you ate it Bacon? It is. It is bacon. Okay, so I thought the post was like a shopping center or something, but it's not. I think it's like a music venue or something. They have like office space in there and stuff like that, and it has that big like food court right there. I think that's about it. I was expecting something different, but hey, I enjoyed my food. Like it was all right. So I'm about to go to the CVS that I walked past earlier so I can go and get me something to drink. Cause I did get water at the market earlier, but that shit was like $4.50, almost $5. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not about to do that. 
again so i'm gonna go on cvs get me some water maybe get me a snack or two for later tonight and then i'm probably gonna most likely head back to the hotel or i'm probably gonna go to a bar and get me like a drink or something we'll see we'll see what the night holds y'all i'm walking past this man and i'm just i just know when i walk past him he was gonna say something to me so i'm walking past him. i'm looking down at my phone so he so we don't make eye contact he's talking about uh smile i told him why y'all always telling women to smile and he was like, well, I'm a happy man and I want to see women out here smiling. I said, who's to say I'm not a happy woman just because I'm not smiling? And he was like, well, take off that costume. You look good. I'm like, what fucking costume, bitch? This is a fit. This is a fit and it's fitting. Like, what the fuck is you talking about? Like, men are so fucking weird. Like, ugh, that just rubbed me the wrong way. It was giving bum anyway, so get out my face. I'm on my way to this family pool hall because I want to go play pool and I wanted to go see a movie but they didn't have any movies that I really wanted to see so I was like I want to go play pool so I'm on the bus on my way there because I'm never gonna be too good to ride the bus like it's just never gonna be that like and their bus is so much nicer than I was back home and plus on top of that they got Wi-Fi like I'm just like yes I could pay $125 for the bus instead of paying like $10 for an Uber and then ten dollars back so i'll probably get like an uber coming back and then um yeah we'll call it a night from there but i just want to do something before going home so i'm gonna go play pool so i see how when i get there i saw i took the bus over here to this area it is really actually nice they got a lot of stuff over here see next time i come to houston i'm getting me a car because it just makes sense to get a car like everything is so spread out like you need a car you really do Ooh, okay, I got me a drink. I got Tito's, Crane, and pineapple. I got my table set up. And I'm about to go right now. Y'all, I just left and I had a good time. I like that. I wish that Savannah had more of like a pool place like that. Like that's like a pool bar, like a bunch of pool tables. Like we have pool bars, but not a lot. Like that was like a full blown one. But for real, I had a good time playing pool. I love playing pool. Like I just like going and even just playing by myself because it's like give me practice. And plus, I need to beat my best friend's ass in the pool. I really need to. I need to beat her ass in the pool. Because when I come back home, it's on. Is this light gonna turn to the walking man so I can walk? But yeah, I'm gonna give me something to eat and then I'm gonna head back to the hotel and call it a night because I gotta pack and everything. But it's not that late, it's only like 10 songs, it's about to be close to 11. I found a food truck. <laughs> I just got back to my hotel. I'm about to take a shower and then I'm about to eat this food. He still was so funny. Even though I only had really like one day to explore, I really had a great day today. And I'm I'm so happy that I got to still enjoy the city, even though I missed seeing Key Glock yesterday. It's all right. So I see y'all tomorrow. Bye. Good night. Mwah. Love y'all. Good morning, y'all. I'm about to get ready to go. Everything's packed and ready. About to head to the airport. Y'all, no lie. I didn't really have good food while I was in Houston. Like, everything was straight. Like, the wings I had last night, they were all right. Like, I didn't like the sweet and spicy. I didn't even eat those. I threw them in the trash. But I, and I barely ate the lemon pepper. The ranch was nasty. Um, The fries were straight. Like, but yeah, all the food here was just... Mm. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to the wrong places. Maybe I need to come back and get some better recommendations. But yeah, it was mid. Like, I wish I would have had better food, but it's it's okay. You win some, you lose some. Sometimes it work out, sometimes it don't. So it's all right. But I'm about to finish getting ready, and then I'll see you once I get to the airport. I just got to the airport. I checked my bags in. 
I was sitting over there for a minute drinking my lemonade because you can't take it to TSA because if you do, they're going to throw it out. You can't take any liquid. So all my other drinks, I had to check it in my bag. But I'm never, ever, ever betraying Southwest again. United probably won't ever get a coin from me again because I switched up one time and I learned my lesson. Like, you can't beat two free check bags, one free carry-on, and one free personal item we do late check-in for your bags like you can't beat that like at all i'm never leaving southwest we here we like this forever <laughs> but i'm about to go through tsa i'm in the shop right now because y'all know i can't leave without getting a souvenir i think i'm gonna get this keychain i always wait until i get into the airport to say i, I should have got something for her, but i'm gonna just get this keychain right here it's cute yeah i'll put it on my uh key ring let me get this i was about to go get some wings from buffalo wild wings to make up for the trash ass wings i had last night but my flight blows in like 15 minutes, so I'm not going to have time. And plus, they look busy. But, y'all, I had to went through TSA pretty fast because the lady put me to the side. And she was like, do you want to do the clear thing? It's a free trial. And you'll go through fast. I was like, okay. So, I did it, and I went through fast. And she kept complimenting me. She kept telling me I was beautiful. So, I love that. That was so nice. But I'll just get some food when I get home because airport is busy right now. So, I feel like I'm not really going to have time to go get no food nowhere. So it's all right. Look what I had got my best friend. Oh my gosh, she gonna love this. I saw it when I was in line and I was like, oh, this is perfect. It's this little boo. She is gonna love this. Oh my God. Like this is her, this is her thing. Like she's gonna eat this shit up. It was like $18, but it's whatever. I had such a fun time in Houston. I can't wait to come back. And next time I come back, I'm gonna have a car and I'm gonna do more stuff and I'm gonna come for a much longer time. But I'm heading home. I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog and I'll see y'all in the next one. Love y'all. Peace.